everyone, I'm Amber from Rover.com and today on Is It Worth the Money, we're going to be reviewing the iDig. So the iDig is made from iFetch, which is a company that also makes a uh, mechanical ball launcher. You may have seen it. It's a small little device that shoots out blue tennis balls that you can teach your dog to drop the ball in and it'll shoot it. So we were really excited when they came out with this and I was super excited to give it a try with my dogs. So the goal of this is to provide an environment if your dog has a natural tendency to want to dig um, or really likes puzzle type toys. This is a good option. It's a little bit on the larger size so um, you're going to want some space to set it up. So this is the iDig Stay. So it has a hard plastic outside and it's made kind of for in-home use for you to keep it in your house. So for this, I tested it with two of my dogs. So I have about a five month old Boston Terrier puppy and I also tested it with my 10 year old pug. So I had two different mixed reactions from the dog. Um, the Boston Terrier, I would say, is not especially food motivating, and so when I loaded this with some of her kibble, which she really likes, she was mainly more curious, um, wanted to see what it was all about, give it some sniffs, she kind of stepped in it, sniffed around, but then stepped out, and wasn't exactly sure what she should be doing. On the other hand, my pug, who is super food motivated, jumped right in and got the hang of it really fast. Now, I think this is a great option for her because um, she's older, loves food, but she's also pretty much fully blind and deaf. Um, so when people talk about keeping dogs mentally stimulated, a lot of times that includes training. Um, and with her, it's a little bit more challenging because she can't really see me, nor can she hear me. So hand signals, things like that are um, really hard for us to do. So with things like this, I already knew she loves puzzle toys. Um, we have a couple wobblers, some treat dispensing balls at home that she loves to bat around. And what I like about this is that this is a stationary item that I can just throw some of the kibble in or a nice treat in there and she will go to town and work as hard as she can to get it out. A problem I have with traditional ones, which are the wobblers or even just the balls with no weight, is that my pug especially likes to really bat them around um, rough to get the treats out, which is fine, but it has caused some dinging up with the baseboards, and I've also heard from some of our colleagues here um, that with those treat dispensing toys that are easy to pick up, there have been some noise complaints in apartments from dogs dropping them onto the floor to try and get the treats to fall out. Um, so the digging motion of this is really nice that you're not going to have things smacking around, getting paint chipped. It's all stationary. There's a lot of pockets in different places where you can tuck treats. Um, also, if your dog is really motivated by tennis balls, you can tuck any type of toy in here. There's a lot of different spots for it. Um, and I think that's really great. So overall, I do honestly think this is worth the money. It's $80. I have spent between 15 and 20 on a single treat dispensing toy. Um, so I think for a little bit more for something that is gonna last a lot longer and be gentler to my home, absolutely worth it to me. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, for more information on this product, head on over to the dog people and we will see you next time.